So whether you want to sell online courses, memberships, or even professional services or consulting services, you are definitely going to need a sales funnel system on your website. So in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to do that step by step. And all the tools that I use throughout this video, all the links to that are in the video description below. And also they come with bonuses. If you haven't used any of these uh, tools before, I have courses that I give away when you use my affiliate link, which help you get up and running really, really fast. So I've already got my website all set. Everything's going to be based on WordPress because WordPress ensures that you have 100% control of all your data. Okay, so now that we have this all set, the first thing you want to do is to install Divi. So Divi is very powerful because this is your page builder. This is what you're going to use to build your sales pages and make them look beautiful. Okay, next we're going to um, go to Cutflows. Now this is our funnel building software and it also works with WooCommerce. Now, let me show you how this works. So I've already gone ahead and downloaded the software that we need. So in our website here, we need to install WooCommerce because that's the first one we need to add. So I'm gonna come over here to plugins, click on add new. We're gonna search for WooCommerce. We're gonna click here to install it. And now we're gonna go ahead and activate it. So now we're going to skip all this. I'm gonna close out of here. And we're also going to dismiss all this. Okay, great. So now WooCommerce has been installed. The next step now is to make sure that WooCommerce is connected to either Stripe or PayPal. So you need to make sure you have these accounts. So I'm going to come over here now to settings, payments. So I'm gonna go ahead and activate PayPal and click on save changes. Next, we're going to come over here to accounts and privacy. And this is where you want to make sure you allow users to create an account during checkout. Make sure you say yes to that. And we also need to allow customers to log into an existing account during checkout. So I'm gonna act activate that. Okay, great. So that's all I need to do right now. I'm gonna hit save changes. Okay, so the next step now is to install our funnel building software. So we're gonna come over here now to plugins. Click on add new, upload plugin. So I already have my plugins here downloaded. So I'm gonna add my first plugin, click on install now. Activate the plugin, great. So now I'm going to uh, add the second one, which allows us to have unlimited funnels. So I'm gonna click here on add new, upload plugin. So I'm gonna click here on choose file, and then I'm gonna click here on the pro version, click on open, install now. We're gonna activate the plugin. Now what's important here is we need to add our API key, which you find over here in your dashboard. So I'm going to copy it. And then I'm going to click here on activate license and paste it in here. Click on activate. Okay, great. Now I have everything all activated. This is looking great so far. So the next step now is to make sure that our page builder, which is Divi, is going to work really well with card flows. And to do that, we need to come over here to Divi and then click on theme options. Click on builder. And then we need to make sure we activate steps. So I'm going to click here on activate, save changes. Great. The next step now is to come over here to card flows click on settings. So this is where we need to make sure we choose our page builder. So in this example, we're going to go and choose Divi, and then we want to click on save changes. The really cool thing about card flows is if, is if you want to add your tracking pixel, you can add it over here for retargeting, and it also has Google Analytics, so you can add those two here. Okay, so let's build our funnel. So what we need to do is to, first of all, create our product. So our product could be maybe a consulting service, it could be a course, it could be even a physical product. So it doesn't really matter what it is, we need to create it first. So we're going to come over here now to WooCommerce, go to our products here and click on add new. So this one here is going to be consulting. So let's give it a price and then click on publish. So that's our consulting service. So the good thing about using sales funnels is you can also add other products so which you can sell as upsells or even downsells. But in this example, we're just gonna add one product and then add another one, which we're going to use as our checkout product. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. So let's create another product. So we're going to come over here and click on add new. So on this product here, we are going to call this bonus. And let's say this is 97, we're gonna hit publish. Okay, great. So now we have two products all set up. So the next step now is to create our funnels. So we're gonna come over here to cut flows, click on flows, 
and let's click on add new here. So as you can see here, we have all these templates that we can use to build our funnels, which is really, really cool. So let's go ahead and choose just any one of these, but we're going to go in and change the design. So I'm going to click here on view all steps. So we can see here, we have a landing page, a checkout page and a thank you page. I'm happy with this. I'm going to click import flow and we're going to call this consulting import flow. Okay, great. So we have our landing page with our checkout page and our thank you page. So what we need to do now is to go in and design these pages and uh, basically make them look the way we want. So let's start working on our landing page. So I'm going to click here on view, but we're going to view this in a new tab. Okay, so this is what the page looks like. But like I said, we need to change this design. And now we're going to enable our Divi Builder and this is where our page builder comes in. So I'm going to click here on enable. So first of all, I am going to uh, delete all these elements that I don't need. So I'm going to delete that. Over here, I'm going to add my own image. So I'm going to click here on this gear icon to go into my settings. And then I'm going to go to my library here and choose my image. And there we go. That's the image I'm going to go with. Let's save that. And I know I have all these other elements here, which we don't need. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete all this. Okay. So this is going to be our main hero area. Now on the background here, I can see we have an image. So let's go ahead and remove it. So I'm going to click on this gear icon to go into my section settings. Go to my background here. Click on the third tab, which is the image and delete it. Okay. So I'm pretty much happy with that. So in terms of the colors here, you can change your colors to match your own design. So let's go with a gray. So I'm going to go with black here first and then choose a gray like that. And then I want to hit save. Now, when it comes to the button, this is a short code. So this is going to link us to the next page, which is going to be the checkout page. So, so far I'm happy with this design. And of course you can go in and change your title here of your main area here. Next, we're going to take a look here at um, the features. So the features, again, you can go in and uh, change these features and add your own icons if you want to do that. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're going to delete this choose icon and I am going to choose my own icon. I'm going to go with uh, this one here and then I'm going to go and further design this by coming over here to design image and icon. And then I am going to first of all, adjust my icon size, drag it down to about 46 and I'm going to change my color as well. I'm going to save that. So now that I have that icon, I can just delete all this. And then just duplicate this a few times, drag it into position, drag this one here into position. Okay. Now let's go in and change these. So I'm going to click here. So that one says feature one, this needs to be feature two, and we can also change the icon. So I'm going to go with this one here, save that. Now this one here is feature three. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this gear icon, change this to feature three. And we also need to change the icon. Okay, let's go with that one and save. Okay, so I'm happy with that. If you have any testimonials, you can just uh, leave this as it is and go in and update all your testimonials here. So the rest of the information, I'm just going to go ahead and delete it. So I'm happy with this landing page here. And if I need to go and change this title, I can always go in here and change this title right here. So I'm happy with what this page looks like. I'm going to save this and then exit the visual builder. And now you can see this looks pretty cool. Okay, so the next step now is to work on our checkout page. So for our checkout page here, you can see it's asking us to add a product. So let's go ahead and work on this. So I am going to now click here on edit. Now I'm gonna to come to my product and then we're gonna add our product which, which we just created in uh, WooCommerce. And if I remember well, it is called consulting and here it is. I'm going to click here, add our product and you can see here it has been added and our price here is 197. Now let's go back to the design. In fact, let's save our changes first and then let's go back to our design and we are now going to view this, but in a new tab. Okay, so this is our checkout page. It's got our product here and the price, as you can see, it's showing there. The only problem is we have all these checkout fields and we don't need this if we are selling an online product or an online service. So let's go ahead and fix this. So what I'm going to do now 
is I'm going to come over here to form fields and we are now going to, first of all, disable this checkout, uh, the coupon field. And we are also going to come over here and enable field editor. So this allows us to remove any fields that we don't need. So definitely we don't need the phone, the zip, the state, the town, the apartment, the street, the country and the company name. So basically we're going to have our first name, last name and email address. And we can also drag these to the top if we need to. So that's how easy it is to update all your fields. I'm going to hit save changes. And then if I come back over here and refresh, you're going to notice that our coupon field here is going to disappear. And also our, our fields here are going to be updated. And here we go. So I can see here we have town and city and additional information. Let's go ahead and remove that. So town and city, that's gone. And we also have additional field. Let's save. Now let's take a look at this. And there we go. So now we have first name, last name, and then the email address. And here is where we have our product. And once our customer is ready to buy, they can just click here on proceed to PayPal and this will take them to the PayPal. So as you can see, this is really fast to go in. So as you can see, it's very, very easy to design. So what we're going to do next is we're going to enable the builder and customize this page as well. So I'm going to click here on enable visual builder. So we're going to get rid of uh, this image here and also these other fields and we need this to be okay so now we can go in and give this a title so instead of saying your awesome product we can just call this a checkout save that and now we're going to go into our section settings and remove this image that we have in the background by coming over here to the third tab delete the image and we can also now go in and uh, change the background color. Now, if we want, we can match this with our recent color that we used, which is right here. Now we can save. So now we have our checkout page. We can customize this the way we want. We can even add videos here if we need to. So now that we have this all set, I'm going to hit save. Exit the visual builder. Okay, that's looking great. So what we can also do here is to add an order bump or a checkout offer. So remember, we created an extra product. So let's go and enable our order bump here. And we're going to search for our product. And our product was a bonus. I'm going to edit here. So the discount price, we're going to say percentage. And our value here is 50. And now you can see here, it has calculated this. It's now 48.5. We can also add our product image here. So let's add this as our bonus. So now let's add our title here, 50% off. Okay, so now we can hit save. And when we go to our checkout page and refresh it, we now have this extra product, which is our order bump. And notice what happens when I click here. It's going to be added here. So now is this consulting plus the bonus. And it has given us a total of 245. And when we uncheck it, it will bring it back to 197. So as you can see, our order bumps are very, very powerful. And you can also further design this the way you want. So finally, we have the thank you page. So in order for us to uh, design the thank you page, we just need to go back over here to all our steps. And this is our thank you page. I'm just going to view this in a new tab as well. And here we go. So this is our thank you page. It will show us our order summary here. And then you can also ask people to join your social media community. So this page can also be designed using the page builder. Okay, so now that we're at this stage, if we now go to our website, we are going to notice that this is not going to show us our main landing page that we've just created for our business. So now if I come over here, you notice that this is what we have. But ideally, we want that when people come to our website, they land on this page because this is the page where we are selling our services. How do we do that? This is what I need to show you next. So over here now, we are going to navigate away from uh, cart flows. And by the way, we can also see how our funnel is performing by coming over here to analytics. And this is going to show us everything that we need to know about our sales funnel. Okay, so now let's set up our page. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to come all the way down here to settings, click on uh, reading and over here on static page, if I click on this drop down, it's going to show us all our pages. So the one that I'm looking for is the landing page. So I'm going to go ahead and select landing page here, click on save changes. And now when I go to my site, let's just remove this and go to our main website now. 
and boom now this is our main landing page and if our visitors get to this page and they like what they're seeing and uh, they can click here on let's get started and this is going to take them to the checkout page and here we go and this is where they can add all their information here and if they also want to go for this offer they can just click on yes and this is going to be our offer and once they do that they then go to the thank you page so this is how you build a sales funnel website. Let me know what you guys think in the video comments below. If you have any more questions, please let me know by dropping your questions down there below. All right, guys, that's all I have for you in today's video. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.